Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. All right, guys, this is going to be a hike and fish adventure. I'm going to go way down there through the woods, come out the other side. Hopefully the channel has a little bit of water so I can do some fishing. If there isn't, then I turn around and come back. <laughs> so we'll see. I hadn't done this in about four years. So... It's a good way to drop some pounds and get out into nature. Hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. The channel is growing and it's because of you guys. All right, so let's get moving and hopefully we'll find that water. There's a deer up there on the trail. Do you see him? in here. This is conservation land. He's checking me out. Could be a doe with a fawn. Nobody is around, they like to come out. Well, it's way down there now. So they got food plots on both sides. And no hunting is allowed in here. They try to keep it peaceful, a place for the animals to flourish. The forest is up ahead. It's where my bushcraft buddies would absolutely love it. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, guys, we're entering the forest. That's where we came from. I'm already sweating up a storm. The deer ran in here somewhere. Look at this, a little bit of standing water. Some cool wildflowers. Lilies of some sort. I came through here one time, guys, and I saw a fox running, running through here. This is Bushcraft Central for my buddies. They'd love to come in here, set up a hammock or a bivy, and do some stealth camping. What? Are those big beehives on those trees? Those big knots. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't want to get close enough to find out. See, there's another one. Anyway, oh, I've never seen that trail before.
in this cool. It's this little DNR path so we can get to these spots. No telling where our friend the deer went. But man, it's nice and cool in here. Okay, here's the opening. Now hopefully, waters here coming from the river cutting its way through that's not a good sign there's usually water in there oh man this may be a short trip guys Was a wild turkey. Oh, here it is. Thanks to the animals for this little trail. Do I see any fish in there? I can't tell. Oh yeah, I see some fish down there. The thing is, I hope that's not a false bank. <laughs> I don't want to step in there and go straight through. Yeah, there's some fish in there. We need to find a place where we can get a little closer. Oh, there's a pike right there. I can see him laying there. Alright, so we may explore a little bit up and down this bank. How the light comes through. Alright, here's another one of these cut ins. Please tell me that was a frog. Oh yeah, there's a bass right there. Okay guys, this is what we're looking for. Ooh. Yeah, because look at that. Boy, it is shallow. There he is. There's a big pike there. Oh, that's a carp, maybe. But we've got some depth in here. You can see the flow. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm going to get rigged up. Check out all those fish, guys. I don't know if those are carp or what. I'm going to start off with the bronze slammer from MEPS.
I switched to a Senko, guys. <laughs> the map's not much going on. There you can see it's just a whole fleet of carps. Oh, I got a hit, guys. Felt like it was a bluegill, though. Let me see. Yeah, just a bluegill. It was that quick thump, 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 thump. There's some more. Oh, it's a fish. I got him this time. Is that a pike? It is a pike. Boy, he was goofing around down there. I gotta be careful, cause he'll, for sure, with his teeth, cut the line. Bank flip. Oh, that's a nice pike. Holy cow. Let me get my glove. Nope, not here, silly. Not here. Get the scissors here. Hey, he's all right. Check him out. Senko is gone. Yeah, it's a pike. He's just hiding in there. All right, you ready, buddy? Here you go for the release. There he goes, swimming away into the inky depths. I'm telling you guys, if you don't want to deal with slime, use a glove. It makes it so much easier to handle them. Here, smell this. It smells like pike. It's like a tangy smell. All right, my Senko is gone, so I got to re-rig. <laughs> okay, guys. Rig back up. Just using the 6'6 six six Mach 2 Loose Speed Spin 300. 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. This is the thing. I, I've got polarized sunglasses so I can see down in there. You're probably wondering what I was talking about. And I'm like, hey, look at all those fish. There's a whole bunch of fish swimming over there. Whew. Something spooked him. Maybe a bigger pike. hunting weird they must be spawning or something it looks like a carp maybe I don't know what that is oh I got a bite guys I got a bite feels like a bluegill though Dang it! Crying out loud, I missed him. I got this all tangled. Dang it, right down there. I think it was a bluegill.
Oh yeah, I see him. It is a bluegill. He keeps following it. <laughs> Let me fix this. I wouldn't mind if I caught a monster bluegill. It would just have to be big. them. Did he get the Senko? How the heck did I miss that guy? Ooh. Something, something was fouled up there. All right, there we go, we're set. I see these bass guys, and I pitch this in front of them, they don't do anything. So maybe they get spooked by it, or what the deal is. Okay guys, you can see where the, that green, that's where the water normally fills in, in these big pools. It's too shallow. I went up to the north about half a mile and it's like this. So I'm going to head the other way. I can see little flashes of minnows in there. So we're going to head to to the south towards the spillway where I was fishing with my dad, that childhood spot. This takes you to the other side of that spillway. Hopefully I've got the energy to get all, all the way over there. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, it's not too hot. I'm doing okay. So I tell you what though, I've got these muck boots on. And when you're standing still and the sun is shining on them, boy, it feels like your feet are cooking. But this is pretty cool. There's all kinds of cool flowers. Like those little guys. Like some kind of foxglove or something. Black Eyed Susan's baby breath. Anyway. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to come out of here more often. When the water is full, you could see the depth and volume, how big pike and bass will get in there. Coming from up north, it's flowing south, obviously, so we're heading south. We're gonna go check out some more spots down there. down there <laughs> he's climbing up I hope he's not rabid but I've got enough tools where I can knock him out still shallow here that spot where I went was 
the best spot so far. Then it winds back around. Silly raccoon. Don't worry. If he starts snarling and going nuts, I've got my boots on, the fishing pole to swat him, this GoPro tripod, <laughs> which is like a club. He slinked away somewhere. I don't think he was rabbit because he knew what he was doing along the bank. He wasn't acting all weird. This is where the wild turkey flew in here somewhere. Oh yeah, check this out. It's like a meadow here. I wonder if they came in and sprayed or what. Oh yeah. Look how shallow it is. Yeah, we definitely need some rain. All right, let's come up here where this comes out. Look at all that baby's breath. So there's some deer, wild turkey, raccoon. I've seen a ton of frogs. This will open up to the main part of the marsh, which they're draining to get rid of that stupid Eurasian milfoil. Do you notice the flowing water? We didn't see much of that Eurasian milfoil. That's good. So the plan is working. Although it sucks, there's, <laughs> they've kind of restricted the flow, but At least they're working on that problem. Yay, we made it. There's the dam. Way over there. What is that, guys? It's a woodchuck. <laughs> I spooked him up there. I don't know woodchuck could climb it. A tree, it's not a raccoon. It's not a baby raccoon. He's just looking at me. <laughs> All right, we'll leave you alone. This used to be the lake. And boy, this thing was filled all the way up to the edge here, so. They drained it because oh, there's some sandhill cranes. We've ever seen all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> when you talk about sputting and gutting, this is where <laughs> my cousin and I, we had a boat right up in here just a couple years ago. So they're gonna retrench the canals and fix a lot of soil issues in there. They moved the fish into another portion way the heck back there. And here comes the canal again. Eh, it's all right. Ooh, is that a pike right there? Huffing and puffing, sputting and gutting. Is that a pike? 
All right, no pike. Just an optical illusion. Yeah, there's what's left of That's just rainwater, but man, they drained this thing. A few years ago, top bass for Iowa was caught here. And we caught some pike in here. Nice bass. But they, DNR did a great job of moving the fish. And this side over here, they didn't drain. This is just from low water. Look at the size of those carp down there. Holy cow. Whew. I don't know what that is. Something made a hole in the bank there, some kind of critter. All right. Well, we won't forget this hole. We're gonna keep going. Yep, that's what's left of the lake. Yep. Boy, this thing would go all the way back around. We had some great fishing in here once upon a time. There's the shore right there. So the water would get pretty deep in there. I could fire a sinko in there, maybe see if we could get something, but... I don't know about jumping down through all that itchy weed. All right, guys, I'm just trying. This is what's left of the lake, but there's nothing biting. I fished it for a good stretch here with the Senko. Just little dinky tadpoles and things. But one day it'll be filled up again. We can boat in here and have all kinds of fun. There it gets narrow again, but boy, there's a heck of a lot of current in there. I can see like stuff floating along at a good pace. So this is a natural marshland. It's protected here. They do some restricted hunt or some special hunts, but it's a bird sanctuary. You have American pelicans here. There are the sandhill cranes geese, all kinds of short birds. Look at that. Somebody's walking over there. Below the dam. I can see them. I don't see a car though. Whew. So, yep, this is a corner right in here where my cousin Graham lost a monster pike and we were just right in there. We thought about anchoring, climbing up the bank to get some, or get a chance to fish over here by the spillway. It was kind of funny, but we didn't, we kept on fishing. I caught a nice bass and a pike. Well, they need to deepen the channel. In here, there's a lot of sediment, a lot of junk they want to clean out. So hopefully they will. There was a person fishing over there. Now they disappeared. Oh, oh yeah, I see a car. That's where we were, <clears throat> my dad and I, this morning at the spillway. Oh yeah, there's a couple people there walking through the mud and junk. All right, this is for my cousins. 
that we had our fishing adventure <laughs> on my cousin's boat. This is where we anchored in. We just sat here, fish the cattails along that bank, and we had some great luck. I think that video is in there somewhere if you guys want to go back and watch. There's a little bit of water down in there. Yeah, I'm still sputting and gutting. Oh yeah, there is, just a little bit. Now, these control valves here, they regulate the flow in case this gets too full or they need to do whatever. One time I was here and there were just carp stacked up all over there. What do you see down there? Nothing going in and out. So they got to shut down. What does it say? Waterfowl Refuge. Closed to duck and goose hunting at all times. No trespassing through November or through something. Spring. Now here's the other flow valve. Whew. Why don't you guys remind me to bring some water? Now you can walk this dike. Oh, I hear it. I hear water. Oh, is this one of these drain tubes I can fish? I'm gonna be careful here. Okay, see on this side of the dike, what is that running through there? Who is that? Did you, did you guys see that? I'm gonna be careful here. Okay, see on this side of the dike, what is that running through there? Who is that? Did you, who is laying in there? Show yourself. Anyway, so this side, this is another pod where they'll hold water in another area. But you can see it's low because it's not full. What was that crawling through there? A mink? Careful guys, I don't want to get jumped. Dang. Ah, we'll come check this out in a minute. Let me think of a plan. Boy, something was crawling down there. Oh, they're emptying it through here. Because they're trying to drain that stupid milfoil. Well, heck, if it was a clean path down there. I'd be pitching the Senko in there. All right, let's check out this where the dam is. Somebody rode a bike or a scooter through here. And there's that other pod. They call them pods. Where they hold the water in the different dikes. We made it. So that's where we're fishing on the other side. And here's this side. Oh yeah, I see fish. Eh, we'll throw the Senko for a little bit. Maybe a two. Alright guys, just throwing the 
Senko down in here. This is where that water eventually flows into and then when it's there's a lot of rain or a high flood season this is all filled up and there's a natural channel there and there's a channel that comes through there and one over there and when I was in high school I saw them with these big machines cutting those channels through but over time you know they fill in with silt and so you got to that was what, like in the, had to have been 90, 1990 maybe, 91, 92, somewhere in there, where the, they came through and were trenching. So it's about due for a, for a rework. Now, they did have a company set to do it and they backed out. So now they had to open the bit up again. But this is a cool place to be ashamed to let it go and not get it back where it needs to be. It's a machine that can that doesn't have any issues with depth. And I, I don't know, I can't really describe it, but it trenches through and clears it all out. Let's see here. All right, guys, I've been fishing this pretty good for a while, throwing all kinds of lures and all my arsenal of stuff, some meps, the tube, nothing doing. So peaceful here. Yep, when I retire, hopefully this is where I'll spend my retirement up here in this part of the country so I can fish and enjoy all the cool stuff. This would be a great to walk, you know, for exercise. Maybe not the whole stretch, but a good portion of it. I may need to turn my little walking app on so we can see the total distance. All right, one more cast over here and then we're gonna hit this top side. All right guys, so you don't see any of that Eurasian milfoil. Usually in years past, it would just all collect down here and you couldn't even fish. It was terrible. So even though it's sad to see that they're restricting flow, but it, it's working that on a way to kind of get rid of that junk. Eh, a couple weeks of good rains, this will all fill in. The geese are all clustered down there. You can see them walking all out there, picking at stuff. I still don't know what that was over there at that little control thing. <laughs> what did I say? I said, show yourself. I think it was like a mink or it actually could have been like a a duck laying in there but it was crawling it wouldn't like fluttering or anything it went into the water beaver maybe taking a nap on the bank who knows that's what i'm thinking it, 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 probably a mink but mink or meter and all get out he probably would have snarled it was something big and fat because i could see the grass moving in there it was like a ball could have been a muskrat. All right, guys, nothing here working this.
Yeah, it's supposed to rain tonight. Which will be much needed. Uh oh. I think I got a bite, guys. Nope. False alarm. What do they say? The grass is green on the other side? Eh, I don't know. We fished over here. Didn't catch anything. Over there, it's just... I don't know. I've always had the best luck there. Right down there at the base of that, when I did in the little community post I did is where I caught that monster carp. Right down there in that corner on this side, I was dropping a tube in there, bouncing it on the bottom, and it was gone instantly. All right, guys, I guess I'm going to start heading back. I may fish a couple spots here and there. It'd be kind of cool to come out here and take paint this, you know, if somebody was good at doing something like that. I know it sounds kind of dopey, but that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That looks better when there's water. A hundred times better, but... Like this, it's kind of unique. All right, I fished and fished, nothing. All right, let's, I'm gonna try to figure out how I can get into that little outflow thing without getting jumped by whatever creature that was. All right, guys, I'm trying to fish this little outflow. I don't know what was in here that was crawling around. I said, show yourself again, and he wouldn't. Come on. How is there a snag? I'm weedless. And what am I snagged on? Ah, oh, got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, well. All right, guys, I'm restringing a pole from the snag down in that little spot down there but look at this I'm at these crossroads not a bad spot huh now this over here they call it a one of these cells so they have all these areas where they hold water the big lake this section here and then this thing for whatever reason they call it D pod and that's where they move the fish in and then there's yet this swampy area over here and so these big dikes running through regulate the water flow all right i'm putting a tube on no i'm not gonna monkey around and fiddle around with that anymore it's it's just too much cabbage in there anyway all right so i gotta go walk all the way back around here and then back over let's get to it missing guys he didn't take it he didn't take it all it was look like a little bass dang so we're on our trek back and I've got the tube on That's where I was fishing down there earlier. The bass is right there.
Let's see if he gets it. Nope. He chased some other... It's like he chased a bluegill away. It was weird. Thump, thump, thump. I feel bluegill stumping on it. He just sniffed it, he didn't do anything. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna fall for that again. Oh man. Here come the carp. Something's got it. Something's got it. I don't know what it was a bass from one of those carps something had it and then they just they let go that was weird there guys four of them something spooked them it wasn't me it was a carp spooked him I think I see him they're right down there you guys I don't think can see him because you don't have polar eyes lenses but I see one two three four four bass there we go one's chasing him one's chasing the one I caught on the tube oh come on this cabbage hey he's not bad well he looked a lot smaller in the water There we go. All right, for the release. Okay, on the tube. Objects are bigger than they appear because in the water he didn't look very big. Now when the breeze causes ripples like that in the water, then it's hard to see down in there, even with the polarized lenses. But man, there must have been like four bass total. That one was the quickest to get it. And then he had some of his buddies following him. I just let it sit there and then he got it. Oh, I feel it. He's got it. Oh! Dang it! What happened? He didn't get it. For crying out loud, it was perfect. Everything was perfect. He's got it, he's got it. He's got it. He spit it. I'm counting that one. <laughs> oh, geez, guys. All right. 
We'll leave that side alone for a little bit. Now we'll go back up this way. Here we go, guys. Boy, he hammered that. That was out in the middle. I wonder if it's one of the other buddies that was with the... Uh, that other one. All right, let's go bank flip. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, they do look smaller down there than they do when you get them up. There we go. It's a nice fish right there. Let's get this shot with all that cool stuff down there. I don't know, I gotta judge the hat cam. Looks good. Healthy fish. Away he goes. Yeah, out in the middle, I just kind of bounced it and then boom, he just hauled off with it. Should we go down to our other spot? All right, guys, we're at our spot. I dropped it where a couple bass were. Ooh. And guess what? Nothing went for it. Those are carp. Where are those bass? I don't know. I can't tell. Well, I've had a carp hit a tube before. We know how that turned out. Oh, he let go. His buddy, he thought his buddy was gonna take it, so he grabbed it. And then, oh, it's a pike. <laughs> so a bass was there. And the bass was gonna get it. But then the pike went for it, and then the bass swam away. Pike blends in so much, I can't see him now. Something's got it. Something's got it, guys. This one's a bass. Oh. On the tube. It's this kind of green. It's like a craw, but with green on it. Careful the hook. 
is sticking out right there. Mr. Sneaky Pike. You got it from him. Ooh, that was fun. The Senko didn't attract as much attention as this thing is for some reason. I guess because it's like a craw crawfish. Right as it's hit the water. In the shade over there. That's another nice one. Boy, a lot of action with the tube. I want to get that slinky pike. He, he took a bite at it and then he just kind of ho-hummed it and that was it. Yeah, guys, that pike just disappeared. He was right down there, and I watched him for a bit, and then just poof, he was gone. Dang it! It's that goofball pike! He just pokes at it, but he doesn't get it. It's like he's playing tag, see him? I don't know if you can see him, you don't have the polarized. It's like he likes to poke it, but he won't ever get it. <laughs> He's just laying there. He disappeared in there somewhere. Something's on it, I think, guys. Something's on it. What in the... 
There's no snag down there. What the heck did I hook into? Like a 40 pound pike? Oh, I see something going after it. It's that silly pike again. He just comes up and he pokes it and then he, he lets go. He's like a cat, you know, just kind of playing with stuff. I see him right there. He sees it. Okay, enough of him. <laughs> that goofball pike, he bites it and then he lets go. He did it again. There is a log down there, guys. I got stuck on. There we go. We got something there. Whoop. It's another pike. <laughs> it's right down there, guys. And there's another one there. Boy, they love staring at this, but if anything, they'll just go up and grab it and let go. It's weird. Now both of them are looking at it. Well, if one may entice the other one to bite it.
They both, they're both just looking at it. They don't do anything. <laughs> this is crazy. There's a bass right there. He didn't go for it. Now the two pike are laying right next to each other. Here it goes. Nothing. Oh well. Maybe I should switch to a different bait, but I'm having too much fun throwing this. I saw a big white flash over there when I pulled it through. All right, I'm feeling some bites on it. What am I whispering for? Okay guys, I'm gonna throw this Storm 360 GT. It's a little swim bait. Here come all the carp. It's a carp parade. Oh, dang it, I don't need a snag. Dang it. He was definitely curious with the stupid snag. Dang, Pike just looks at it, even this. I don't know what to do. I can't get him to bite anything. Ooh, almost into the trees. All right, guys, a pike hammered. I used the crawfish tube. It wasn't one of these ones that was goofing around here earlier. It was a different one laying in the weeds. The thing is, I don't want him to cut my line because I don't have the leader on. I need to tire him out. He's got a lot of force and power. 
Maybe now I can get him up here. Bank flip! Bank flip! Ooh, he's a biggie. Oh, there went the line right there. Whew. Oh. Oh. He's a big fatty. Get my tape measure. Twenty two and a half. All right, there he is. It's a big old boy, twenty two and a half. Whew. Just right through there. Bam, he hit it. And that was all she wrote. I saw a couple big pike in the shallow water there. The one I just released, he's laying right down here next to that other silly one. Boy, that was good stuff. Good stuff. All right, guys. It's gonna wrap it up for today. I may film a little more hiking through the trail to get back to the truck, but this looks like a pretty cool shot to end it, though. Hey, thanks as always for hanging out with me. Till next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.